So we're all talking artificial intelligence and Sony is the first camera manufacturer to add it to the Sony a7R5 for subject recognition. So we're going to look at the human, animal, bird, insect, vehicles, planes, although we've used a drone, and we're going to look at the best settings to use that. Also at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to program some of the buttons on the back so we can access some of those focusing features quickly. But first we're going to look at AI face recognition now. So we're going to program the face of our actor into the camera and then as people are moving around we're going to track the actor. We're going to try it in photography mode and in video mode and we'll also try it in focus mode that is wide and also in spot mode and just to see what the differences are. So let's go take a look. So if we go to the menu, go to autofocus, click on autofocus, manual focus, drop down and to subject recognition, drop down to face memory, click the plus icon, take the photo of your subject, click register, and you'll see they're highlighted in the face memory. We want to make sure the target is human. So we select the human icon. And then at the moment we're in spot focus and you'll see sometimes it hits the target and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll just change it to wide focus and you can see even if there's other people in the shot, it will just take our subject that we've put into the memory. Now if we look how it's using the AI to assume where the, the eye is and it will keep making an assessment of where the arms, head, legs and the body is and making an assumption where the eye is. So if we just look this in another scenario, and you can see where there's more faces in a crowd, how it will stick even from the side, and even with your backs turned, it will try and make assumptions. If we look at animal, and you can see it just grabs the eye quite successfully. And just dropping down to Sorry, just dropping down to insect mode with a wide focus. And in video, it'll have the white box around it. And that works well. And with photos, it will put a green box around it. And then we go over to recognizing birds. And even with the, when the heads turn away from us, it'll still Try and find the eye. And then for car mode or vehicle mode, again, we click on our target, scroll down till we see the vehicles. And as you can see, taking photos, it'll just select the cars. But of course, if there's lots of cars in the, in the shot, it can hop around. What we can do is hold down the tracking button when it's found the target and it will stick with that vehicle. So we hold down the tracking and it will stick to that vehicle. and we'll show you the tracking button that we've set on the back of the camera later in the video. And in photo mode, if autofocus is off, and we're in spot mode, and we use tracking, It works well. 
Now for plane mode, we've used a drone. Will it work? Let's launch the drone. And as you can see, it's grabbed that really successfully, tracking it through the air. And in photo mode, equally successful. And finally, to really assist you with all the focusing features, I've customised some of the buttons at the back here and changed some of the settings in the FN menu. So the AEL button here, I've the changed the to focus track. So you touch and hold that and it'll just track the subject. Next, I've changed the AF on button and I've made that to switch from toggling from autofocus to manual focus. So sometimes when it gets overwhelming with all this automatic and AI um, recognition and you just need to go to manual or it can be used like um, focus hold. And then I've changed the C1 button and I've made that to toggle on and off the subject recognition. So you can completely stop it trying to recognize and lock onto to subjects and then the multi selector I've changed that as well and that goes to the different focus modes so you can quickly hit that button and scroll up and down and change the type of focus mode you're in to make those changes we go into the menu and we drop down to the suitcase symbol which is the setup you come over to the right hand side and you drop down to operation customize you come across again and you've got customized key dial set. I've got my um, video following the camera setting, so I'll just go into the camera uh, photo setting and I'll change it there. And then if I go over to rear one and then go again to um, number one, which is the AEL button. And as you can see, I've got that to tracking on and autofocus on. So I just, um, click into that and then I've gone if you go over to autofocus manual focus on the menu and then focus area and then come across again and scroll down to tracking on and autofocus on you might want different functions here you might want just tracking on or um, toggle whatever suits you but I found at the moment I'm enjoying that one and again if we come back to our custom settings and then I drop down to the second option which is the autofocus on button and as you can see I've got that to autofocus manual focus selector which if you click into this you go to the FM MF uh, section and you come over to the right hand side and you'll see in the menu there you've got the uh, toggle on and off for that. Then just coming back out of that. And then coming down to number three is the C1 button. And if you just click into that, I've got that as um, the recognition toggling on and off. And again, it's in the focus section of the menu and you come across and you go to subject recognition and then you come across again and it's recognize off on toggle. There are other some nice uh, options in here you might choose like select face to track or switching from right eye to left eye. Um, that might be something you want to do. And coming back out of that. And then if you come down to rear two and then come across, you'll find the first uh, option is the multi selector and you can change what that does. So if you click into there, I've got that to focus area. So again, in the focusing section, you go to focus area and then come across and select for camera and video focus area. And then that will just quickly uh, allow you to 
access the different focusing options at a touch of a button. Well, that was really interesting to do and I hope you learned a lot there. So please subscribe to the channel here and if you want to learn more about different types of tracking on drones and gimbals, then check out the playlists over here and I will see you over there. <laughs>